Oh. Hello everybody and welcome back to another awesome video from the Wood League! We're gonna be Wood Leaguing it up with our homies who sent it from the chat, who are Chano and Freedom Flyer, seeing, sending all sorts of amazing things. <laughs> Should I say it or not? It sounds like we're already doing a fucking Shakespearean play. Chano, fucking unhappy with it. Super, super, super displeased. This man is deeply unhappy with this situation. He's like, I'm playing against a guy in Master League and Diamond. Um, but, but as many of you in YouTube would not fucking know, is this dude hasn't been playing nearly as often. Down bottom left-hand corner in the green pants, we have Freedom Flyer from the team Gosu and unteam affiliated. My homie, my moderator. They're both moderators, but still. In the blue pants is Jano. PVT on this map. Honest to God, I don't have a lot to say about PVT. Mostly is that it's a whole bunch of shit's gonna happen, and then everything's gonna explode. That's the plan. That is the plan. And, we, and we're already bantering back and forth. As per standard. We have to be doing it this way, don't we? Oh man, regular stuff coming out of coming out of both of these players. No gate, no gateways, no barracks on the other side of the map. So we're good there so far. Major harass going on with the probe being doing probe things and being probe annoying. <sighs> Fucking probes. Every time I see a probe, I usually have like a mild heart attack. Just like oh, <gasps> they're scary units. Okay, there is no scarier unit than the probe. Nexus coming down, command center coming down. Why is the pro bro? <laughs> bro, this is how you know somebody's somebody's really really real. Uh, and is he gonna lose the SCV? This is such emotional day. That that probe has committed a. <laughs> that's the exact reaction you should have, bro. Bro, what the fuck? What the fuck, man? And now this has been heavily delayed because fucking Terran. Why in the fuck? Why in the fuck does Terran? But the Reaper does get the kill, so the Reaper clings revenge. But the damage has been done, delaying the command center. Twilight Council is going to be the choice. Relatively standard, usually going to be going into blink play, but can have some cheeky islands. We might have fun with that. We'll see. Usually blink is like, okay, well, I'm going to just maybe apply a little bit of pressure to you, and then I'm going to deny drops, and then I'm going to try to deal with the widow mines all before anything happens. Factory coming on down, Greg. Relatively standard timing tech. Everything's all great in the hood. Reaper going to come in here and mildly annoy some probes before the... Uh, <laughs> this adept very gives it a very strong reaction to just leave reaper is gonna get killed though by the adept nice pickup from team gosu's freedom flyer i see that robo going down we're gonna have a dt drop i knew you would do something like this i knew he's in the chat right now you bastard i'm judging you just a bit i know what you're gonna do you're not gonna get blink. Who gets blink anymore? You get fucking DTs like a bastard. <laughs> See? See? Predictable. All right. Starport's gonna be finishing up for Mr. Chano. Looks like he's gearing up to do a widow mine drop. Maybe. We want to see mostly what is gonna happen with the starport. Mostly. Like, typically speaking, very safe players are gonna. Ah, oh, but he's gonna go. He's gonna go for the widow mind drop. <laughs> Freedom Flyer says, uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, Shaggy. Oh my goodness. But we're not gonna be going for the Raven, but it could be a follow up. What is he saying? Oh, the Hellion. The, is the Hellion gonna get any kills? He gets one kill. Two, oh, it's had two kills so far. Oh, oh no. Oh, but the shield battery finishing just in time. Now this alien's basically not going to do anything. Got two kills out of the deal, though, so it's not, not bad. All the Attack my pretties. <laughs> Blue Prism going across the map. Actually, did he see that? I think he might have seen that with the Hellion. Oh, so the tech lab is going to be coming up on the starport, but is it going to be a little too late? I think it is. The dark shrine is done, and the war prism is coming across, and the fucking raven isn't starting right away, and it takes 43 seconds to build, so... 
There's no scans. There's no scans. He's getting him engineering bay, but the DT is going to be warping in before he can do anything about it. Well, uh, maybe, maybe our turret's going down. No turrets yet. He had to have seen the warp prism now. Chano, now I'm judging you. You, you saw the warp prism. You saw it. Is he supply blocked? Nope. We're just not warping in DTs. No big deal. We got a dark shrine. What are we doing? What the fuck is happening? Why are we not warping into- Why are you warping in stalkers? You're so scared of the war- Oh, come on. And it's gonna burrow anyway. And it gets a lot of fucking kills. How many kills? Got uh, three kills on that thing. God damn, dude. Is there a raven? If there's there's a raven now, good fucking god. Now I'm judging you guys harshly, very harshly. Holy fuck! All right, DTs are gonna be coming on in, but there is a raven, but there's no units up here, so the DT drop will commence. Chano is just now reacting. Very slow reaction time there on Mr. Chano. That that raven should have dropped it. Should should have turned around, man. I don't know. Come on, get the DTs. Get him. Get him. Get him. They must all die. What are we dancing with the word prism? Rude. Rude. On the other side of the map, third base has completed. Third CC is completed. Taking a little bit of damage here. Nothing crazy. Oh, uh, never mind. I take that. Take everything back. 20 workers and 11 workers. How do you play this game? That's an important question. Because, because 14 workers, 8 workers, both parties having subs having uh, taken substantial damage with my fingers. That seems like a a very literal answer, in on on the part of our Terran friend here. But like, the Pearls is just ahead, right? Yeah, he's just ahead. Thirty six to fifty seven workers is not good. Upgrades coming down. Uh, no, one engineering bay, we've got plus one attack, but we haven't gotten the follow-up plus one armor. We get it now. Maybe with the brain. Wow, the hot take, man. <laughs> the fucking hot takes here, bro. That is crazy. That is crazy talk. Hold on. You can't play this with the brain. You can't play it with the brain. Especially as Zerg, I don't have a brain. L low brain, fast hands, as Rainer might say. Army's moving across the map. Pretty sizable army here with the Raven, with the Interference Matrix. So this is going to be able to deal with one Colossus. This army is tiny. Holy shit. There is just nothing and because we're not using warp ins. What did I say the last time that you took a break? You need to use your fucking warp ins. Bro, you have no army. <laughs> and not getting supply block for the entire game. That is true, but the the Raven's gonna absolutely deal with at least one of these two Colossi. There's some there's some zealots over here, but there's not really that much. Like, yeah, the, he's gotta pull back to the tanks, but the tanks are gonna do quite a bit. The Raven did get sniped off early, so he didn't get any spells off with it, unfortunately. But the third base is being shelled by the tanks, so... I mean, what are you gonna do? You can't really push into that, right? Like, that's a pretty substantial army. One tank isn't sieged, but still. Oh, 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 the tank stepping forward is sieging now, but it looks like the zealots are going to be able to get on top of everything and kill. Or maybe not. The, the, the gateway unit count is slimming out, but there's not enough bio. We're going to leave that tank behind as a sacrificial lamb. Bro. He had a family. How dare you? He, you left him to the Protoss monsters. They're aliens. Well, how could you leave a brother behind? Should have waited for Thermal Lance. Uh, I think they had Thermal Lance, actually. Yeah, they did. So that's actually what he was waiting for. Fuck that tank. <laughs> Pure bio followed up with uh, some tanks sprinkled in there. Upgrades coming on up. Looks like we're going to have a pretty even game here, but the Protoss is going to have that plus two armor to be able to deal with, uh, to be able to deal very well with the plus, with the attack upgrades of the Terran. No man left behind, but leave the tanks be. 
<laughs> it was for the greater good. Jesus Christ. All right, fourth base is going to be going on over. I feel like you should take this fourth base, but I but you don't know about this because there's like nothing at the spotting watchtower. Th these are heavily underrated, man. Like always, put a marine at the watchtower. You can. We're gonna lose this for free, aren't we? Oh no. Oh no. We're riding to battle. That's three archons, though. But there are some Vikings here to help deal with the colossi. No tanks within tank shot range, and the Vikings aren't shooting at the thing anymore. Hey, you gotta get the Vikings to shoot at the Colossi, come on! There you go, we're getting the Colossi now. Should be able to clean this army up. I'm gonna have one Colossus get away? Yep, I'm gonna be pulled into the war prism and run, run, run away. Take the fourth, did not lose the base, which is nice, but the units are being warped on in. We got to, well, the fight's not over. We're gonna re-engage here in just a second. Disruptors maybe being produced? I saw a disruptor in the production tab. I don't know what was actually supposed to happen, but the Protoss is looking very well set up here. We're on four bases. We have disruptor production going. We have plus two, plus two on the way. This is a great position, honestly, for a Protoss player. Ideally, you would want one or two more Colossi to help deal with the bio, but we're transitioning into Disruptors nicely to be able to deal with that. And we should have, I think, we should have another Robo. Yeah, we do. So we'll be able to make, we'll be able to make those two at a time. Attacks coming into the planetary does crush that down. Is the bio going to be able to deal with this? Uh, oh, center mass shot. GG from Chano, the hero Disruptor with 13 fucking kills. Oof. Oof. That's all I gotta say. Oh, man. That is like dra that is like getting teabagged to the face and dragged across. Holy fuck. That. That was crazy. That was crazy. Holy shit, man. 13 kills. 20 kills on that Colossus, though. Th these two units are heroes of this particular game. Like... Fuck, fuck the gateway units. This Colossus and this Disruptor got more kills than almost anything else. Protoss didn't macro very well, but this is going to be a fucking amazing game here. I have to say this was played relatively well, and mass props to you guys. It was pretty decent. Some pretty There were some decisions made that were very questionable, but thank you guys for so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. If you guys want to have your replay cast, come on to my stream which will be linked down in the description below and donate those channel points to me which are free all you got to do is watch my stream thank you so much for